Welcome back to another edition of Stuff You Don't Usually See. Today's guest, a returning guest, Shalita Johnson, supervisor at Lincoln Recreation Center. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing really well. Good. Um, heating up? Yes. How does that affect your world at the Lincoln Rec Center when it, when the temperatures kind of start stepping up? Well, we actually love it because it gives the kids the opportunity to go outside. Okay. That's and good. They love outside. Playground and pavilion. Love it. So the noise level inside goes yes, way down. Exactly. Oh, yes. Okay. They need to burn off that energy and soak up the vitamin D. Exactly. That's important. Yes. Okay, so you ready to do this for radio? Yes. All right, let's see if we can do it. Well, thank you and good morning. My guest today is Shalita Johnson. Shalita is supervisor at Lincoln Recreation Center. Shalita, how's it going? It's good. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. I'm good. I know you've got several things to talk about. Yes. How about we start off with Easter? Yes. What do you have scheduled? Ooh, yes, our annual Easter egg extravaganza. Okay. It's Thursday, mm -hmm. April the 14th. Okay. From 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. All right. It's not our traditional hunt, um, but we will be giving each participant a bag of eggs. Okay. And they can do their own hunt at their leisure and at different locations at their home or park or wherever they choose to oh yes but we will still have the games and activities it, that will be the stay but everybody will receive a bag of eggs okay so games activities lots of fun yes. but you you walk away or drive away with a bag of eggs yes okay yes well, so why why the change? This sounds like sort of a transition out of the pandemic. Uh, so we're not fully back to maybe something that you used to have. Well, I, I, in the past, Easter egg hunts are very intense. Mm -hmm. And it gives every child a bag of eggs when it, the, only the fittest survive at an Easter egg hunt. Okay? Yeah, those things don't last very long. No, only 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds. And so with us being able to give every child a bag of eggs, every child feel comfortable and feel good that I can do this hunt somewhere else. A parent can do it however they want to. But it makes sure that everybody gets some eggs and everybody get equal amount of eggs. Let me tell you why that's a good idea. <laughs> Speaking for my my own son, who now is 21, okay. when he was a little guy, he was slow. Okay. So, <laughs> so he would have his basket, and he would he would you know slowly bend over, grab an egg, put put it in the basket, and so he would accumulate a few eggs. Yes. But then when he would bend over to pick up another egg, uh -huh. all the eggs, previous eggs, would fall out of his basket, yes. and the faster children yes. would come snatch the eggs that fell out of his basket. Yes. So I totally understand the logic yes. in this. Yes. Yes, it, it makes it fun for everyone. Okay. You know, and everyone can follow directions and get a bag of eggs. Thursday the 14th, what were the hours again? 5.30 to 7.30. Okay. Yes. Okay. What is what is next on your list? Because I know you've got a list of things. Um, we Team programs. Okay. Our Friday Night Lives. Um, this is for 5th through the 8th grade. Um, the next one will be March the 25th. Um, it's just a fun April time. April 25th? April 25th. April 25th, okay. Yes. All right, making Let sure. Me. April 22nd. Okay. April 22nd um, from 7 to 9, and it's for 5th through the 8th grade, where they can just come out, hang out, have a good time, games, and food. So no pressure, no, no pressure. structured programs. No. Just come, chill, have fun. Yes, on a Friday night. That sounds all right. It, it is. Yeah. They oh. have a good time. Okay. And, and, and if... If kids haven't been there before, they're like, oh, I'm not so sure about this. Like, what what kinds of things can keep them occupied? Um, they can play in the game room. Mm -hmm. They we will have gym activities, and then we have other like minute to win it games. Oh, good. Yes. And so it's just something for all for the fifth through the eighth grade. Invite their little friends to come hang out on a Friday night, you know. But it's just real relaxed, you know. Give parents a break, maybe for two hours on a Friday night. Yeah. You know, but it, and then they get free food and snacks. Is there a cost to this? It's one dollar. That's it? One dollar. Holy cow. What a great deal. <laughs> yes, I agree. And, uh, and is there a residency requirement? Like no, you got to be a college station resident to no, do this? No, no. As long as they are fifth through the eighth grade. That is the best deal in town. Yes, one dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Friday Night Live. Friday Night Live. Okay, what's next on your list? Um, job readiness. Mm -hmm. um, the next one um, is in 
April, and then May 5th, we are having a job fair for teens. Okay. From 5.30 to 7.30. And so that is to help them find part-time jobs? jobs okay. for the summer. Okay. And uh, Brazos Valley Workforce Solutions is helping us with that to help secure employers that hire 15 and up. That's a great idea. Yes. And you've done that before, right? We The city has the part-time job fair. Uh-huh. Yes, we've done it pre-COVID. Okay. Yes. But this is a little bit different to where it's been extended to other employers. And what a good experience for these teens yes. to actually go through those steps. Yes. And, and have a, an earlier understanding of how that world works. Yes. yes. And this is a good opportunity for parents that say, hey, y'all need to get a job this summer. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Get off the couch. Get off the couch. That's a super idea. Yes. And so that's May 5th. Okay. May 5th. Got it. And all of this information is definitely on the website. Which, uh, I'm doing this from memory, cstx.gov slash yes. Lincoln Center? So that's correct. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, so you talked about teens uh, getting jobs. Yes. Just globally in, in Lincoln Rec Center and Parks and Recreation, there are vacancies you guys are hiring. Do you yes. want to talk about that? Yes. We are definitely hiring for our summer programs, um, not only from the Lincoln Center to our athletic department uh, to our aquatics, who is definitely looking for lifeguards. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we are in need of staff, you know, for part-time positions um, throughout the summer. Um, and this is a great opportunity for those that are just looking for experience working with youth or just in our parks and rec world. Um, the uh, hours are flexible, mm-hmm. uh, but you do have to be 16. Unfortunately, sorry, 15-year-olds. <laughs> you have to be 16 um, to apply and to work for the city. And I, I have to think that some of the folks who have come through um, early in their lives have found careers yes. uh, with with parks and recreation, whether it's at the Lincoln Recreation Center or just somewhere else in the department, but yes. have stuck around for a long time. Yes, yes, I, yes. I'm, I am one of them, actually. <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, it's a great experience. Yeah. Uh, and especially look with some of our former students that used to be Lincoln Center kids, mm-hmm. and now they are currently working there. And so if a person just really enjoy working with people, uh, because that's we serve all ages at Lincoln Center, even within our department. If you are a people's person mm-hmm. and you enjoy making a difference, come work for our department. Yeah. Come that on, makes, have fun. That makes a lot of sense. Yes. So yeah. if um, if anybody wants to browse the um, the jobs that are currently yes. open, csjobs.cstx.gov. That's the place to go. Yes, definitely. Do you want to give a push for uh, summer program registration? Summer registration has started. Um, all of our parks um, um, camps are online, mm-hmm. uh, and you can register online for any of our camps um, for our department. But if you're link- interested in our all-day summer camp at Lincoln Center, that's an in-person registration. And we are there from 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, uh, for you to come in and do in-person registration. And we have an all-day camp from 7.30 to 5.30. And it's for ages 6 to 15. What kinds of things are offered at the all-day camp? Uh, From arts and crafts, social recreation, physical fitness, um, arts and crafts, just about every other day. We have some field trips that are additional costs. Uh, We will have an educational component to it, a STEM camp, um, just a whole bunch of little activities to keep the kids busy. Yeah. Do you remember the cost offhand? Yes, it's $60 per session. Okay. Per session. So it's like $60 per month. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. And all of that, um, I guess, can be accessed through the Parks website? Yes. Parks website, web track, um, our website. Um, there's little ads in the paper, mm-hmm. um, postings all over Bryan College Station mm-hmm. if you're interested in any of our summer camps. Okay. So go to cstx.gov slash parks. Yes. What did I forget? Did you think of anything that we skipped, or did we do a a fairly good job? I think we did an excellent job. 
perfect. <laughs> Shalita, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I appreciate yes, it. Thank you. All right. And thank you guys for letting us come on and talk about the city of College Station. That is stuff you don't usually see. Man, you covered a lot of ground. That's good.